I have been getting requests to add a teaching video on US for ampullary lesions. We will do a brief session on EUS for an ampullary lesion. So this is a EUS of a patient who has an ampullary lesion. I normally start from the liver always to look if there is a dilatation of intrahepatic biliary radicals. And as you can see here, you have hugely dilated biliary radicals. You should be able to identify segment two radicals and segment three radicals in case you decide to do EUS guided biliary drainage. Once we have identified this, we see here there is probably sludge or pus. Now I have turned my scope clockwise to look at the common hepatic duct. So you see hugely dilated common hepatic duct here. So we know there is an obstruction somewhere lower down. <clears throat> so let's measure the bile duct here. So this is about 13 millimeters. Hugely dilated bile duct. I'm pushing down with a gentle clockwise rotation. And you see here, this is a cystic duct. Hugely dilated cystic duct is also joining the bile duct. So here you see here, this is the cystic duct. This is the bile duct. So this is an obst lower obstruction causing distension of GB, dilatation of cystic duct and dilatation of common bile duct. The next area of interest would be whether the pancreatic duct is also dilated. So here I am trying to concentrate on the pancreatic duct by turning clockwise. And you see here, we are seeing the pancreatic duct. This is the pancreatic duct. It is not dilated. You can see here, this is normal pancreatic duct. So the lesion is only involving the bile duct. So it's a cholangiocarcinoma or an adenoma in the distal bile duct. Let us see. Now I am in the first part of the diagram. And what you are seeing, let's go back a bit. Yeah, so this is the first part of the diagram. And you will see, immediately you are seeing hugely dilated bile duct. This is the portal vein below. And this probably is the gastroduodenal. This is the first look. The liver is here. Then we turn clockwise. See here, I'm turning clockwise. And you see hugely dilated bile duct. Again, you are seeing the cystic duct. See this line? So bile duct, cystic duct, common hepatic duct, hugely dilated. Below is the portal vein. Now, to go to the ampulla, you have to turn your scope clockwise and push a little, not too much. See here, I'm doing that. I'm turning clockwise with a little millimeter by millimeter push. And you are seeing the dilated bile duct. Still, a lot of sludge in the bile duct. Now we are seeing the duodenum. See, this is the duodenum. See here, this is one wall of the duodenum here. And this is vague outline of the ampulla. We are still in the D1, turning clockwise, looking a little up towards the ampulla. This looks like a bile duct. So this is the ampullary area. Let's see properly. So see here, this is a hypoechoic lesion at the ampulla, <clears throat> causing dilatation of bile duct. This is the diurnum. Always put water. If you want to see things clearly, you can see I'm filling it with water here. And beautifully seen hypoechoic lesion in the ampullary lesion. Now you see here, this is the lesion seems to be involving the bile duct here. See this? This is a jutting into the bile duct. This, of course, is sludge. So duodenal wall, ampulla, lesion at the ampulla, and you see this <coughs> sludge. Let's see further. 
So again, you see the same finding beautifully seen, very nice lesion. The idea is to find out whether we can resect this lesion uh, by doing ampullectomy. Looks unlikely first view, but we will see in detail later on. So let's go down to the second part of the retina and see what is happening. So we go to D2 now. On the way, we look at the lesion. You see here, this is the ampullary lesion. It's, see here, there is an ulcer. So again, this ulcer means probably the lesion is going deep. Go beyond second part, into the second part. When you see here, immediately you are seeing multiple lymph nodes. So that means loco regionally advanced. You have a <clears throat> multiple lymph nodes. So what is the movement that we do here? Once we go to the second part of the diagram, we shorten the scope like we do for the ERCP. First movement should be anti-clockwise like this. When you do anti-clockwise, you will have a view like this. You will see the spine. See, this is the spine and you will see the aorta and the IVC. If I go back a little here, let us I'll show you the IVC also. It comes and goes very fast. So these are the lip nodes. And then when I shorten, see I'm shortening and then turn anti-clockwise. You see the diodenum here. This is the IVC. See this huge you know, blood flow. Then turn clockwise, you will see the aorta. Once you see the aorta, tip up clockwise and slow withdrawal, millimeter by millimeter. And you are at the lesion here. See this? This is the ampulla. I have filled water here. If you want, you can give buscopan. You can see here, this is the pancreatic duct. Pancreatic duct is normal. You have lymph nodes, so the lesion is not localized, just gone into the lymph nodes also. And this is the sludge. Now we have to look at the muscularis propria. You see, now see here, this is the muscularis propria. See, this is the muscularis propria. This hypoechoic line. So if the lesion has gone beyond muscularis propria, <laughs> that means Ampulectomy may be difficult, but here you see this hypoechoic lesion going by the side. See this, this here. See, for almost a centimeter or more along the bite. <clears throat> this looks like you cannot do ampulectomy here. So I just showed sludge. This video is running very fast. <laughs> so. So this is, see, this, this lesion is here. Almost 1.5 centimeters it is growing inside the bile duct. And then you see huge amount of sludge here. See this? This is the sludge. It may be difficult to differentiate sludge from tumor. If the small amount of sludge ball formation is there, then you may find it difficult. So uh, what we have found here is you have a lesion which is involving the ampulla. It is going into the bilet for a distance of about 1.5, 1.6 centimeters. It is not involving the pancreatic duct. So probably it is a cholangiocarcinoma involving the ampulla because it has spared the uh, pancreatic duct. It is causing dilatation of the bile duct, lot of sludge formation. Cystic duct is also distended. Intrahepatic bilirubin radicals are also dilated. There are lymph nodes, which means the lesion is not confined to the ampulla. So, in all probabilities, this is an ampullary cancer and will go for a Whipple's surgery. Of course, if you wish and your surgeon wants it, you can do a stenting to reduce the bilirubin. While coming out, always do a quick look at the liver to see if there are any metastatic lesions in the liver. <clears throat>
So hypoechoic in the liver, please always search for that. There are the metastases here. So this is how we do the evaluation of pancreatic lesions. Thank you very much. Thank you.